Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I am glad you're here. I want to take a quick second and say thank you to all the channel members, thank you, thank you all, and I want to thank any of you who come in to check out my knife and EDC content, I really appreciate that. I would ask if you've got the chance and you're so inclined, if you'd hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon, it does really help me out keeps you updated when I upload new content. Today I wanted to do kind of a deep dive in a very, very cool EDC fixed blade. I say EDC fixed blade or camp fixed blade, hiking fixed blade. It's a little on the larger size of what I carry on the daily, right? It is, um, and we'll do some size comparisons, but this is Dustin Driver, Driver Defense, the splitter. The Splinter is one of Dustin's small fixed blades, or medium size, I'd say small fixed blades. He is actually an Alabama boy. He lives here and makes these knives probably about 45 minutes from where I live. I knew he was exhibiting up at the Nashville Custom Knife Show, so I went up there knowing that he was gonna have some of these splinters, and I bought one. My buddy A to Z EDC had let me bring in an earlier custom Dustin Driver or Driver Defense knife that was in some, uh, um, I can't think of the type of material. It was titanium, super weird compound grind, flipper hole, and um, semiconductor is what it was called. You can Google Dustin Driver or Driver Defense on my YouTube or search YouTube and you can find it here on my channel. But this guy um, was born November 2023, the handle's G10, and it's Magicut. Dustin is a really cool guy. I love his logo, which is a um, plague doctor with wings. And instead of saying knife maker, all of his CEO certificate of authenticity, it says toxicologist, Dustin Driver, Toxoid, name of the knife, Splinter. And then you come over here, <clears throat> driver defense, extract, which is the blade steel magna cut, hypodermic, G10, date of infection, November 2023. So I look at stuff like that. It's trivial, but it's cool. And Dustin is just a very nice, soft spoken, very um, discriminating in terms of very particular in the quality that he produces. He's very much his own, I think just like a lot of the knife makers I've met, he's a very harsh critic of himself. And what that produces, in my opinion, are some amazing, amazing knives. You guys know I love an EDC fixed blade. And I knew that when Dustin was going to be up at Blade Show in Nashville, or the Nashville Custom Knife Show, that I wanted to get one of these splinters. And I knew it was going to be a little bit on the larger size of what I normally carry, which are little tiny knives, right? Um, when I met with him in Nashville and started looking at these knives, I was amazed not only at the quality of the G10, the quality of the edges, the grind, every, everything about it just spoke really um, hard use, hard usable quality on a small knife. So I picked up another knife while I was up there that I think I've done a review on, the Colin McGuire, um, totally different kind of knife. So they're right around the same length, but this little guy, the splinter, is an absolute breacher. I mean, this thing could be used to cut paper, to open boxes, to do detail cuts, to dress game, to um, poke, to defend your Slurpee on a Friday night at the gas station. Um, it's just done very very well and with this blade stock and the way this point tapers before it comes to this drop point it's just a very functional blade let me grab a piece of pipe off keep in mind this is the thick grind 
It's not designed to be a paper slicer. It's heat treated, I think he said 64, 65. Guys, for a real thick, beefy, just badass little knife, um, I give this a 10 out of 10. Um, I've even joked with Dustin about doing a little smaller one. Um, again, he's as busy as, as he can be with the stuff that he does. He debuted some of his slip joints. At Blade Show, I will link his Instagram in the description. I'll also link his website. I think he runs a website. I don't have any affiliation with him except I'm a fan of his work and a now an owner of one of his fixed blades. I do not own the flipper that I kept for a week that my buddy A to Z EDC has, but his work is amazing. And the fact that he does it here locally in North Alabama makes it even better. So let's do a couple of quick, quick size comparisons so you guys can see what we're looking at here. We'll compare it first to our Civivi Bay Banter and our Satu Ground Cold Steel Formax. I do have a couple of fixies here, but I want to give you guys some, like a bench made bug out. Spyderco Pen Milite 2. So you'll notice it's smaller than both the Bug Out, much smaller than the Paramilitary 2, but look at the forward choil area. Yeah, you don't have the blade length, but again, this knife, I think of it as more of a tactical kind of get it done um, knife. But let's compare it to a couple of others that I have here. This is my little LT Right. Frontier First, which is a little small magna cut knife. I love this little guy. But you can see that the splinter is much thicker in blade stock and in size. Handles about the same. Let's look at it next to my Rex 45 Bradford Guardian 3. And it is just a smidge longer than my Guardian 3, but it's a little bit thinner. I did put different scales on the Guardian 3, so the handle is thinner. This had the diamond scales that weren't contoured, so in all fairness, these scales to me feel a lot better, so the Bradford might be about as thin, but you'll see the blade stock's nowhere near. And then lastly, let's look at it next to my SE3. So it's a much smaller knife than the SC3. Just a fantastic little package. Let's get um, let's get my tape measure. Tell you guys what we're working with. This knife, I'm going to say seven and a quarter overall. I'm going to say it has a three inch blade. I'm going to say it has a four and a quarter inch handle. I'm going to say it has two and three quarter cutting area, maybe a little bit more. Where I hold it, I'm gonna go from this choil right here to the back of the handle. You have four and a quarter inches to right here. So from right here to right here is four and a quarter inches. One thing about this knife, I think the handle for my hand could be a lot smaller, but I think it makes it much more desirable for people like Dustin or my buddy A to Z who have full-size hands, right? So taking my little mic meter that I can't read very well, you'll see that the blade stock is 0.18. And up at the point, or at the tip, 
let's get rid of this here. About 0.0395. So if I come down here and try to get the edge right where it's sharpened there, 0.0220. Point oh one three five. Hold on, guys. I'm not getting the right measurement. Whoop. Point oh one four zero. Point oh one eight zero. You know, it's a flat grind, a tall flat grind on a stubby little blade with a good bit of belly. The handle's going to come in at right over half an inch. Point five five. And just a little bruiser of a package, guys. I mean, it is what I would consider a small, overbuilt little chunk. I mean, I really believe this could probably go through a car door, um, you know, if you needed it to. And it could also finesse through boxes. Let's get my Javon scale out here real quick. And we'll get a weight and then a carry weight. And then we will see you next time. So, the weight of the driver dispense splinter is 4.65 ounces. Perfect retention on that sheath. 6.55 ounces carry. So, to me, that is not too big at all. I have not tried this with straps yet. I've been carrying it with the Ulti Clip. As a matter of fact, I noticed. When I put, I've been, I had a short Alti clip, which I've also got right over there, but I wanted to put the long on because I've been trying to get it set at the right height, and like an idiot, which is not uncommon for me, I uh, put it on the wrong side. So we will real quickly flip that around using my get good screwed driver, which I really enjoy. I'll be doing a, uh, another disassembly on the Jaeger coming up, um, probably uh, tomorrow, maybe tomorrow afternoon. I've got some, uh, a Tomascus backspacer and uh, clip that I ordered off his website coming in because when I got my black hardware kit, as you guys might or might not remember, there were no more black backspacers. So Brian hooked me up and made me a really fair, fair deal on the black hardware that he still had available for the Jaeger. But I was left with that. Now when I stick this in my back pocket with the Ulti clip, it rides just like that in my pocket. And I can pop over and hit it with that thumb release and get it at a moment's notice. So yeah, guys, this is the Dustin Driver, Driver Defense Co. Splinter. Got a great lanyard hole there, you know, big lanyard hole that you can put something through if you want to, you know, make it more retentive, I guess, to your hand. If you wanted to strap it down, you know, I've, you guys probably know how to use these knives as well as I do, but I can tell you for a Urban EDC, this is as much as I'd ever need if there was a zombie apocalypse or something like that and I had to grab a fixed blade. This would probably be a, a good one to choose to grab from. So anyway, I'm a big fan, guys. I will leave a link to Dustin's Instagram if you want to give him a follow. Uh, I know he sells at knife shows and I think he sells stuff through IG or his website. Keep an eye on him. He drops things from time to time. I love each and every one of you. I appreciate you checking out the video. I do ask if you would, please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Please look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart and choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.